Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I'm bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project to help inspire your holiday wardrobe. So no matter what your personal style is, whether you're casual, whether you're chic, girly, glam, and or your budget, whether you've got all the money in the world or we're on a tight budget, I've got some ideas to help add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. So let's dive into today's festive project, a sexy and sheer pussy bow blouse. And I know what you're thinking, okay? I'm not gonna wear a see-through shirt. And I get that, I really do. But the way that they are being styled these days are actually quite classy, I mean, you're not gonna maybe be wearing this around your boss, but your girlfriend, your husband, your boyfriend, for sure, absolutely. And the fact that this particular blouse also has a pussy bow makes it like a little bit sweet mixed in with all that sexy. I cannot wait for you to see the ready to wear inspiration and the fabric that I found for this one. It is so good. Okay, so let's check it out. All right, here's our inspiration. It comes from Dolce & Gabbana, $1,900. <laughs> it's a pussy bow polka dot silk chiffon blouse. And I know what you're thinking, oh, silk, so expensive. You, you guys just wait till you see what I found. All right, so this is black and white silk chiffon, slips on 100% silk dry clean. Those are the information, that's the information we get on this top. If you'll notice, we have kind of an oversized fit. Here it is on a person. Um, it's beautiful how like the body just becomes like this silhouette underneath the fabric. It is really stunning. The The sleeve itself is a little bit wide um, in addition to the kind of the body being kind of big too. And if you notice the neckline, it's not a button down like a lot of pussy bow blouses are. It's a blouse that has this like grown on scarf type thing that becomes your pussy bow. There it is in another close up. There it does seem to be like a little bit of gathers here. It also is either really big on her or yeah, it's falling off or something's happening. You can see like it's supposed to fit in the shoulder like this and this is just completely fallen off at this point. So $1,900 and it doesn't fit right. Like <laughs> what the heck is going on? But yeah, there's for sure some gathers in here, but everything else about it is pretty plain. It's really not anything complicated. Shockingly, I could not find a single um, simplicity pattern that looked like that. I found many pussy bow blouses. So this one has, all of these are button ups and they all have grown on collars. So the collar of the button up becomes your blouse. They're usually a little bit more fitted as well. But this one does have the bigger sleeve, just not necessarily the bigger bodice. Okay, that's this version here. Then there was this one. Um, again, a nice pussy bow blouse. A nice big sleeve, but very fitted, which I just don't think the sheer fabric is gonna handle these darts very well. And then here was the third one. This one's the most like avant-garde. I just don't think that the sheer fabric, the chiffon especially, is gonna be able to hold up um, to all of this fullness. I think it's too full. And like, for example, the sleeve here, it would just collapse. It wouldn't actually hold the shape like you need it to like this wouldn't happen it would fall over the cuff there were more than this i just picked these three i guess these were the My so with that said i had to go indie and so i found one at sew over it and if you can tell this version here is nearly identical to what we are working with so we have that v neckline this one does have a center front seam I would strongly suggest removing that and just cutting this on the fold. That would be my suggestion. But then you have this grown on thing that becomes your pussy bow blouse. You have kind of a fuller sleeve. You could definitely make this more full and then it gathers into a little cuff. Our inspiration gathers into elastic. It's just a little casing with some black elastic in there. And that's what you have for your 
quote unquote cuff. There's not actually a separate piece. There, we want the one where it's separate, like this. Okay, I get it. She looks like she's being choked. Um, that's not the best representation. <laughs> um, still a little chokage. So I think what's happened here is this is too narrow. We need to open this up over here somewhere. Our inspiration has it opening up like on top of her shoulder, basically, is where it's opening up here. So um, this would be moved all the way back here and then create a new V neckline here. And you won't get that like I'm being strangled look. Um, did they get it right on any bodies? Oh, here it is in a sheer fabric. That's pretty. Um, no. We don't get any other good versions of that. Let's see what else they have. Pinterest board for inspiration, sewing level, fabric suggestions, da 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 da, da, da tutorials and sew alongs. Um, they might be able to help you with that neckline as well. But yeah, okay. Oh, and look, they even have a button up version if you want to do that. So that is our pattern choice. Chiffon specifically, I did find this from Fashion Fabrics Club. It's black with white dots, where ours is also black with white dots. And it's $17 a yard, you guys. Like, it's not that expensive to get silk fabric. You just have to know where to look. And we happen to have 171 yards of this ready to ship, so they're not going to sell out soon. Um, and other than it having the little Dolce and Gabbana DG symbol in some of these circles, which you could probably just get a Sharpie and do that on your own. <laughs> um, it's, it's exactly the same. It's hundred percent silk, um, printed pattern chiffon, woven fabric, hundred percent silk. It is 44 inches wide. So you're going to have to choose your fabric yardage based on that. Lightweight, semi sheer, soft, crisp hand, no stretch, very good drape and matte. Compare at $37 a yard, okay? So there's that version. I also found this one from Fabrics and Fabrics. It's more sheer, but if you don't like dots, I get that. Dots are very specific, but this one is a clip. It says dotted, but it's really like a Swiss dot, if you know what that is. It's a clipped crinkle silk chiffon, all right? So this one is pricey. It's $39 a yard, 100% um, silk, again, 42 inches wide, um delicate ethereal fabric perfect for creating a romantic and dreamy garment touch of whimsy to the black the classic black color versatile charming all those words that we were going for but i mean if it were me i'd be getting this it's just genuinely the exact same that we've been maybe the dots are a little bit smaller like those look like quarter inch dots where ours they're like maybe i don't know half an inch dots so smaller dots, but still the same effect. Thank you so much for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this blouse sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be recreating a festive kimono you're going to love. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. I will see you all very soon. Bye.